Alright, that's it. So the Oscars are over and done with, and I was thinking I just might as well give closure to my 21 video series. Just, you know, talk about the Oscars. So that's what we're gonna do today, kids. So yes, this is just gonna be pretty much a short video about, you know, my thoughts on the Oscars, in the results, what happened during the show, etc, etc, gimmicks and stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. My overall thoughts were that the Oscars this year weren't that surprising really at all, and I did think most of the winners were deserving. Um, I was really excited about Ellen being a host because her hosting the last time was actually pretty funny and stuff, but I was pretty disappointed to see that her opening monologue wasn't really that funny. And as the show went on, you kind of realized that they weren't exactly going for that. I mean, they were trying to go for this like really chill Oscars, and I, for me, it felt like they were trying to fix the you know last year's Oscars with Seth MacFarlane because that was really really awkward and crazy to watch. So I felt like the producers and the director here just really wanted to keep everything like super safe and just keep everything in the safe zone. And eventually, after you got used to the style, you, it was it was okay, I guess. And anyway, the first award of the night was Best Supporting Actor, which was, of course, won by Jared Leto, and this time he gave actually a, quite a good speech. And what I noticed with the uh, Actor Awards here is that they, like, the, the cutoff music never played. Like, it's like they adjusted the rules so that whenever an actor is talking, like, they won't cut him off, so okay. Jim Carrey then introduced a clip of these animated heroes. That's supposedly the theme of this year, you know, heroes, but it was absolutely not felt at all. They had, like, three videos. That's it. For me, you don't have to force a theme, please. I'd rather you focus on the movies, you know, of last year. And then Pharrell went on to perform. And one thing, one great thing about the Oscars this year is that every single performance was really, really good. And Pharrell's performance was great also. I mean, you know, Happy is a very catchy song. He performed it well. People are on their feet, so that's good. Best makeup and hairstyling, of course, went to Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, best costume design, I'm actually very surprised that the Great Gatsby won because I honestly did not think it deserved the windows, but whatever, I guess the Academy likes flashy things. I mean, they won that in production design, so well, that's crazy. Then Channing Tatum announced the winners of this Team Oscar short film, whatever, and I wish they would actually show the output of these kids. I mean, it's pretty awkward to have them just stand there for 10 seconds, you think. Then Best Animated Feature, of course, went Frozen. Best Animated Short Film, I, I, again, I did not, you know, make predictions for those. But I was kind of surprised at something like Mr. Hublot won because I thought, you know, Get a Horse or Possessions or Feral would win because, you know, they look different. Best visual effects, again, of course, went to Gravity, followed by Karen O performing the Moon Song, which is actually really, really good for such a short, simple song. Even my dad liked it, and I think he was like half asleep when he was watching it, so that's good. You impressed my half asleep dad. Again, live action short and best documentary short came up, and I got both of those wrong again. Uh, I thought the Vorman problem would win best live action short because it has Martin Freeman in it. I thought something else would win documentary, but whatever, I didn't watch any of them, so. Best documentary went to 20 Feet from Stardom, which actually pretty surprised me because I was really feeling positive about the act of killing, but I guess the Oscars want to avoid the heavy topics and go for the lighter fare. Not that that's bad or anything, I mean, 20 Feet from Stardom was awesome. Uh, Darlene Love sang right after they won, so that's cool. Best foreign language film, yes, went to The Great Beauty, that's great, followed by U2's performance of Ordinary Love, which was fantastic, as in, I, it really reminded me why I love U2. U2 is amazing live anywhere. Somewhere in the middle of the show, Ellen is doing crazy things, so like, I just wanted to talk about, you know, I thought it was cool that she got the pizza delivery guy to come into the Oscars, and that's, that's nice of her. And just every little thing, like the selfie and just, you know, chatter and stuff, like I said, after a while, after you get used to the mood, it becomes watchable, I guess. Best sound mixing, best sound editing, both went to Gravity, predictably, and best supporting actress went to Lilipita Nyong'o, who gave a really, really good speech, again. Best cinematography and best film editing then followed, both awarded again to Gravity, and was now followed by a tribute to The Wizard of Oz, the 75th anniversary, with Pink singing a surprisingly very good rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And, you know, that's cool, but I was, I was thinking, like, is, is, are they really just going to attribute one movie? I mean, a lot of other movies are getting 75th anniversaries, you know. I mean, I know where the boss is influential and all, it's just that, you know, it's just kind of, like, selective, I don't know. Production design followed, which, again, was won by The Great Gatsby, which I was very surprised by. Uh, and then this third clip of these heroes, these superheroes, which I thought was actually the best one, because, you know, superhero films really lend themselves to montages, you know. Glenn Close introduced the In Memoriam tribute with uh, Bette Midler singing Wind Beneath My Wings. And of course people are going to complain that people were snubbed like uh, Cory Monteith and all these other people that I am forgetting too. 
but you know you can't get everyone in there I guess and you know it was a very sweet tribute also and then came John Travolta who is now being public ri publicly ridiculed by his mispronunciation of Idina Menzel's name and I heard that you know she was totally cool with it didn't bother her performance at all and I wasn't bothered by Travolta's mispronunciation I was more bothered by the fact the orchestra was going so fast that Idina Menzel could keep up but Idina Menzel's performance of Let It Go was really really great until that last note which I had always worried about and she mm, yeah, it pains me to think about it but she is very graceful she sang it well so good job to Idina Menzel Best original score went to Gravity, which I was very happy about. Best original song, of course, went to Let It Go. And the, the guys who accepted the award, who are Phil, like the husband is Phil, which I'm obviously proud of, like their, their acceptance speech is so Disney. That's what I thought of when they were accepting it. It's so Disney. Adapted screenplay went to 12 Years a Slave. Original screenplay went to her. Best director went to Coron, who is very, very funny, also in his interesting Mexican way. Uh, best actress went to Kate Blanchett. And best actor went to McConaughey. Funny story about the McConaughey thing though, uh, I, I wasn't able to watch the Oscars when they were happening live and I was in school in the library, you know, on a computer. And I kept just kind of refreshing the Wikipedia page to see who won and then I was working something else when I heard two girls somewhere in, else in the room like just kind of scream, no! And I was thinking, they're probably screaming because Leo lost. And then I refreshed Wikipedia and there you go, Matthew McConaughey won, so yeah. And best picture of course was... Uh, 12 Years a Slave, which interestingly enough was presented by Will Smith. I mean, I don't know, I just love Will Smith. It's interesting that they got him to present Best Picture. But anyway, that's really just, you know, my quick thoughts on the Oscars. Again, it's it's a pretty standard year. I mean, nothing really happened, like no crazy awesome surprise or performance or anything, or speech that, for that matter. So I'm just hoping next year is more exciting because this really did feel like damage control, you know. It felt like fixing up the mistakes of the past, Seth MacFarlane. So, yeah, here's the next Oscars, I guess, and here's the another 21 videos, maybe. So thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll see you guys later, I guess. And whatever your thoughts on the Oscars, please leave them below. Let's have a conversation.